Yeah, she's one of several people who have complained to the attorney general about rent or about renewing a lease for rent. She says these prices are just way too high. I say when I contact, contact the office of attorney general, I cried. And that big just to listen, hear me out. Christina Perry says she feels vindicated after hearing that D.C.'s Attorney General Brian Schwab has filed a lawsuit accusing 14 of the district's largest landlords and RealPage Inc. of coordinating to manipulate rent prices. We're effectively alleging price fixing in the rental market through a housing cartel. The lawsuit involves around 40,000 units in the district and alleges the landlords agreed to use data from RealPage Inc. to set rent prices rather than compete against each other. Among the big names in the suit are Avalon Bay Communities Inc., Camden Summit Partnership LP, and Perry's landlord for the past three years, Bazuto Management Company. It's like the kids out here robbing people. I mean, you just don't have a space mask on. You know what I mean? You just don't have a gun in your hand, but you literally are robbing and taking, depriving people of life. When you take away somebody's stability, you take away a lot from a person. Perry says some of her neighbors have been forced out of their units because of the sky high rent increases. With this lawsuit, Attorney General Schwab hopes to not only stop this practice, but also obtain civil penalties from the companies. Does this mean tenants like Perry could see money back? The AG's office says although it could take time, that's another one of their goals. Now, the D.C. Attorney General wants people that think they might be impacted by this alleged scheme to reach out to their office so that they can build their case. We did reach out to the 14 companies involved in that lawsuit. Some say they can't comment on pending litigation. Others have yet to get back to us. I'm live in Northeast D.C., Rafael Sanchez Cruz, W.